Hi everybody, um, I hope everybody is well. I'm going to do a quick uh, exercise or example on the network diagrams with you so that you can see the steps that I follow throughout. Um, okay, so let's get going. So remember guys, I said when I started this stuff in the, um, in the slides, I say there's three sets of information that you need to have before you can do the network diagram. The first one is you need to know the activity. So remember these examples, we're going to pretend that we know the activities, but we know in real life we need to figure that out. No? Um, in this case, or in most of the examples that we're going to do, I'm just going to use generic activities. So I'm calling these activities A to F. Um, I'm not going to call them dig a hole or plaster or build a wall or build a roof anymore. But remember, guys, I want you to see that when you see these activities, these are the actual activities. That's just the first set of information. Then I said you're going to have to need the duration of all of those activities. Again, this is something that you need to figure out in real life. In my examples or examples we're going to do, we're just going to pretend that we have that. And in the third set of information, we need to know sort of the sequence how dependent they are on each other and um, you'll see also in the slides that I have I use the uh, sort of the technique of saying predecessor what do I need to do what do I need before I can do my activity so in this case I say activity a it's got a duration of one and I don't need anything to do that now so I say in this case that's the first activity then activity B the duration of one I need to finish A before I can do B. C, I need A as well. D, I'm going to need B and C to do that. And E, I'm going to need also B and C. And F, I'm going to need D and E. Now, so this is sort of preset up for us. Okay, good. So what is the first step? The first step is to draw this thing. Now, so what do we do? We draw it by just... Uh, taking a block make the block over there and we say this is activity a and let's just make the the uh, duration of activity a one we just show it like that in this case now so what we do is just make it bold so it's nice and nice and clear for everybody to see so there's my first activity what do i need to do activity a i need nothing now i've got two activities coming now i've got activity b and c and both of them needs a so let's just make some space over here so this whole thing makes sense. Okay, so activity A, so I'm going to have another activity over here. Uh, sorry, man, let me just take out this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to need activity B, and the duration of B is 1. Okay, and we put that in the block over there. Just make everything bold so we don't need to do that anymore. And then I've got activity C, and the duration of C is 2. So let's just put the number 2 over there. Okay. Then I need to remember the arrows. The arrows is very important. That shows me the dependence. Now I've got some examples over here where I've got the arrows that I did with you guys. So I'm just going to copy that arrow, and I'm going to paste it over there. So, remember I say to do B, I need A. There we go. So to do B, I need A. To do C, I also need A. Let's put that over there. Okay. Good. Now we've got another activity over there. The other activity is activity uh, A, B, C, A, B, C, D. So uh, we put D over there. We can put it anywhere, guys. But let's just put D over there. Um, and the duration of D, what did we say? That is 3. Good. And let's just put the block around that. So it represents the activity. And what do I need for D? I need B and C. So I need B and C. Good. So let's copy this one. We put it over there. And we copy another one. We put it over there. We put it over there. Good. Now we've got activity D. We've got activity E. So activity E. Let's just make it, put it anywhere. Activity E is over there. Activity E. And activity E has got a duration of 1. Okay. And what do I need for activity E? I need again B and C. So let's just copy, paste that one. So activity B over there. And 
I need to activity C as well. Activity C as well. So there's my arrow for C. C to do E, I need B and C. Okay. And now I've got another activity. Uh, activity F. Let's put activity F over there. Uh, let's name it F. And the duration of F is one day. We put it over there. What do I need for F? I need D and E. Okay, so let's copy that arrow D and copy another arrow E over there. Good. So that's that's my flow. That's my flow. So the first step is complete. Now I've got already I've got the diagram. I showed the diagram over there. Good. So now the second step is we need to figure out what is the shortest, no, the longest route through this project. Now, so let's have a look at this. So let's start at the beginning. Let's take just a, a, a route. Let's see how many routes there are. There's one route going that way. There's one route going this way. There's one route going that way. So we've got three routes over there. So let's take the first route. Um, maybe let's just call it over there. Let's just number, uh, number it over there. So that first route is A. It's A, B, D, and F. Okay. A, B, D, and F. What is the durations of A, B, D, and F? That would be A is 1, plus B is 1, plus D is 3, plus F is, plus F is 1. So that's a duration of 6. What's the second route? Second route is, let's take the bottom one. A, a, C, E, and A, C, E, and F. A, C, E, and F. Let's see what is the duration of that. A is 1. 1 plus uh, C is 2. Plus E is 1. Plus F is also 1. That's a duration of 5. So we've done that route. We've done this route. So now let's do this route. A, C, D, and F. A, C, D, and F. Okay, A is uh, A. Let's start A. A is 1 plus C is 2 plus D is 3, plus F is 1. Okay, and then the last one would be uh, A, B, E, and F. A, B, E, and F. A, B, E, and F. And the durations over there will be A is 1, plus B, uh, B is 1, plus E is 1, plus F is also 1. Okay, so the, there is the durations, durations, oh, let's make it get better, durations of my different paths through this project. And you can see my longest path would be that over there, because it is 7 and all the rest is smaller than 7. So my critical path through this project would be A, C, D, and F. And I just, uh, let's just make it like that maybe. So you can see that's my critical path. And my critical activities are those that I have over there. A, C, D, a, C, D, and F, and my total duration for this project would be the 7. If it was days, we use it days. If it was weeks, we use it weeks. If it was month, we say months. Okay, and that's just a very simple example of how to set up and, uh, and sort of work through, visually work through that to work out, number one, what is the flow of activities? Number two, what is your critical activities and your critical path? And number three, what is the duration of the total project?